So this is where I come to load up on wood chips. And it's just uh, the city uh, uh, DPW, Department of Public Works, they, um, you know, clean up crews and things like that. They go around and they trim trees and they manage the cemeteries and other places around town and they, they chip everything up and they, they pile it all here. And this stuff is completely free for anybody to come and pick up and they're good. It's good wood chips. I mean, a lot of this stuff, this stuff is all from last year and you can see it's a little bit wetter and more broken down filled with worms and other stuff. Um, this is great for, for our garden. And places where we want to kind of manage weeds and grass and things like that, like the orchard we're doing today, we'll try to get some of the fresher stuff. Um, this stuff is a little bit, you can see a lot of leaves in there, but uh, this stuff will rinse right through and this will just be uh, real thick weed uh, management. All the leaves and green matter that's in here with the with the wood chips is starting to, to break down. But once you spread this out on a path, the rain will wash through and get all those nutrients into the soil below. And then what you're left with is mostly just the, uh, the actual wood chips. And they'll last quite a long time on a path or uh, any other place where you need to do weed control. Now the other huge bonus of this place is that every time I come here, there's always a whole bunch of wood. Now, a lot of times it's junk wood, but uh, a lot of times it's not. Uh, this wood over here, not sure what this is. It almost looks like hickory, but uh, this might be a hardwood of some sort. And so there's all these off cuts and, and strange shaped pieces and things like that. The tree companies and other places, they just dump it here. For our outdoor wood boiler, all these, all this doesn't matter what it is. Any, any wood will burn in there just fine. But a lot of these big pieces, I come out here with a chainsaw and I'll just uh, cut some of these up and just take a load every time I'm in town, every time I'm through here, I'll come up here and, and load up as much as I can. All they do is take a bulldozer out here or a, a skid steer or something and they just pile it all in this big pile here and then once a month or so they set the whole thing on fire and burn it all. So, I mean, there's, there's a lot of good wood in here that uh, is just going to waste. So even this size stuff, I could come through here with a saw and cut a lot of this stuff out. These are good little logs. So I may come back. Actually, there's a lot of good wood here today. Well, we've got a pretty good load of wood chips here and some free wood to go on the back. Uh, mostly junk wood looks like some willow and other stuff, but uh, it'll burn just fine in the outdoor boiler. And I always try to load up my truck as much as I can too. I want to get as much in every trip because this is about a 15, 20 minute drive from our house. So I want to make sure I to make, the, make the most of my, my time. But sometimes that does put a little extra weight on the old avalanche, but it seems to do just fine. Well, we're back from the, uh, the DPW with all of our wood chips. And so this is the area where the majority of them, probably all of them, I'm not sure if I have enough um, to, to do anything else or not, but I've got this, uh, this orchard row here that we've uh, just planted yesterday. My wife did actually. Um, first spot we tilled up with the tiller. And so we've got a nice fresh patch of uh, hopefully area that doesn't have grass. And this spot was just tilled up yesterday with our new tiller which, uh, <laughs> excuse me, 
Oops, ate a bug. <laughs> that, that was gross. The dog has no idea that that's wheat that she keeps trampling. Remy, come. Get out of there. Stay out of there. This is the orchard row. We're going to start an orchard here every year. We'll, we'll buy maybe, you know, five, six, seven more trees and we'll do another seven foot patch and just keep expanding the orchard, uh, maybe over five rows of trees or something like that. So this is our first patch here. And I just ran the tiller uh, four passes. So one, two, three, four. And that's, uh, that's where it's at right now. And all that did was basically dug down about maybe two inches, maybe three inches in some spots and just ripped all that grass out and killed all the grass off. That's all I care about. The next thing I'm gonna do is just take all these this fresh wood chips and I'm gonna put as, as much on there as I can with what I have. Uh, I may actually get a second load and really load this up. I'd like it to be good four inches thick. And if you do it right, you really don't have grass that's gonna grow up through there uh, for quite a long time. And every year, maybe top it off a little bit with some fresh uh, wood chips and it'll it'll last a quite a long time without any, any weeds growing up. But we're also gonna do a cover crop uh, that won't be spreading too much this year, but by next year and the year after, it's gonna cover in this whole area. And so we'll talk about that here uh, as well. But first, I have a lot of wood chips to unload, so I better get to work. So I've got uh, everything pretty much planted and covered and ready to, uh, to get watered here. Nice thing about the wood chips is that uh, they'll hold the moisture around these trees real good and around the, especially the top roots, which are real fine, especially when you just get them from the store, um, from out of their pots. But what I wanna do is I wanna plant something that's just gonna cover this whole area down here, something really low growing um, and something that spreads on its own. And my thought initially was, strawberries uh, i would love to have just a huge patch of strawberries right underneath the fruit trees and uh, i don't care if we step on some of them or whatever when we're harvesting it doesn't really matter so strawberries will grow and spread and they're almost like weeds they just do really well that way and then that'll also help to prevent uh, grass or anything else from growing up in this area as well let's see if i can transplant some of our strawberries out here let's go take a look at our little strawberry patch okay so here is the our little strawberry patch in front of our uh, house right next to the the wood disc path and the invisible trellis and i've talked about these before um, these are a june bearing strawberry they just uh, bear strawberries once a year um, they were given to us somebody gave us like five or six plants two years ago and this is what what it turned into just in two years so two growing seasons and so what will happen with strawberries in case you're unfamiliar is every year throughout the year they'll grow these runners so this is from a plant somewhere over there and it'll get a leaf at the end of it and we'll start to get more leaves right here but this will start to root into the ground and it'll root right here and then you'll end up with another plant just like this which this grew from a runner somewhere and and it'll just keep doing that you can see these these runners just growing out everywhere and here's one growing out in the middle of the path and basically these will just spread and they'll keep spreading and the more room they have they'll the more room they'll take up so i thought this would be a perfect thing to put um, all around our orchards. I'll plant strawberries everywhere and let them grow out and we'll kind of get a, a dual purpose. We'll get some fruit out of the deal and they'll help to keep weeds down. And you can see this area with the wood chips and the strawberries, there's really barely any weeds in here. I mean, I've got a couple in these bare spots that we could pull out, really nothing major. So what I was gonna do is just come through here and thin some of these out, but they're doing so good right now and they're just flowering and got all these strawberries in here. I don't wanna disturb this patch, it's doing so good. So. Let's uh, take a look on Amazon. Maybe I can order some strawberry starts and maybe get 25 of them or so and just fill that whole area. Strawberry plant. Okay, well, the reviews look good. So let's go ahead and order these and we'll get these planted as soon as they come in. Well, there you have it. Uh, 
we're building an orchard just five trees at a time so every year we get to uh, get five more trees you know it's about it's about 120 dollars um, a year now if we have more money available next year in the spring or maybe this fall even uh, maybe we'll get 10 trees a year in and uh, that would be great uh, the more the better because they take time to grow and and uh, get mature enough to, to start producing fruit so the earlier you can get trees in, I just did a video about this a, a few a week or two ago, uh, the earlier you can get trees planted, the better off you are. So I wish we would have done this two years ago. They would have already been producing fruit this year. See, we're missing out on apples. But if you are looking to plant fruit trees, fruit bushes, um, gardening, anything, I, I've talked about this so extensively. Those of you guys have been following along are probably, probably annoyed uh, just by me saying this, but wood chips really are your, your ultimate resource. They are your best friend, they are a free resource. I use them so much uh, throughout the summertime, springtime, fall time, I mean, I just get loads and loads. Every time I'm up in, in that city nearby, I, I try to swing through there and get a trailer or a truckload full. I use them in the greenhouse. I, I just use wood chips everywhere. I, I could take, there is no limit. To, I, I could take dump trucks full, I would love it. Um, and I've tried to do that, but I haven't found a tree company that wants to come out in the middle of nowhere and dump their, their wood chips, so maybe someday. But the wood chips, you know, are, are especially important in an orchard. Uh, you're talking about, you know, trees that, that generally grow in a forest. They drop their leaves, the sticks and dead trees and all that stuff. You're, you're really creating the most natural environment for a tree by using wood chips to mulch around them. And so it's just, it's always a good idea no matter how you do it. Uh, we are going to experiment with kind of a I guess you'd say a native edge along this instead of adding you know timbers or put it building up like a wooden uh, frame to edge the grass and the wood chips i'm just going to leave a natural kind of dirt barrier um, the ssl family mom actually suggested this today and i thought it's a great idea because it saves me a lot of time and money but you know buying things or finding resources to make an edge with and uh, i also think i'll be able to run the weed whipper just right down the edge of this on that dirt and keep that grass line back from the wood chips so the grass won't in, you know start to encroach and grow into the wood chips uh, so we'll see how that works out i love getting out here and doing uh doing this kind of work uh planting things and growing things is just awesome so take you guys along when we get the cover crop the strawberry cover crop i think that's going to be awesome here and uh i can't wait to just see that spread out around here and just kind of fill in this whole area with strawberries it's going to be awesome uh, we'll be able to make a lot of things with with uh, that amount of strawberries, I would think. So let me know what you guys think. We uh, we tilled, we wood chipped, we planted trees, and now you guys get to see kind of the final product of of this uh, this project. So don't forget to hit thumbs up on the video, guys, and stick around. Lots more planting things uh, videos, planting things videos coming. Sunflowers are going in early next week, so look forward to videos on tilling and planting i've got a new planter i want to show you guys it's pretty cool um well i hope it's pretty cool i haven't used it yet so it could be a piece of junk but i'll let you guys know how it is don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time here of course subscribe and follow along we'd love to have you as always thanks for watching have a good one mm -hmm.